Hey guys, got another video here for you. This one's been requested by a couple of members on my YouTube channel asking me how to uninstall Windows Internet Explorer 9 from a Windows 7 operating system. Now that may be pretty basic for most people, but these guys want to know how to do it, so I thought I'd make a quick video for them. So here we go, it's pretty straightforward. Now this method will work on Windows Vista and Windows 7, 32-bit and 64-bit. So first off, I'll show you how to download and install an older version or a newer version of Windows Internet Explorer. So you need to come to this type of page here. I will put a link in the description. And here you have some download links. Internet Explorer 9, Internet Explorer 8 and also Internet Explorer 7. It's always best to try and use the latest versions because it does fill up a lot of uh, security holes and stuff like that. So it's always advisable to go for the latest. Now all you need to do is click on the download link here and uh, select the operating system that you require. In this case mine would be uh, Windows 7 32-bit and then click on the download link. Now I've already done my download and that is it on my desktop. So that's all you need to do really. If you want to pick a foreign language or another type of language you can do that by clicking on there. Okay. So once you've got your download link you would click on that and it would install. But first off, let me just uninstall it first and I'll show you this installation process afterwards. So what you need to do is come down to the Start or All button here. You want to go to Control Panel. Once you get into Control Panel, you may see this uh, set up or you may be having this set up. Okay? Either way, you want to uninstall a program. Okay? So uninstall a program or if you've gone back to this setting, you want to go to Programs and Features click on this and you'll see up the top here view installed updates you want to make sure you click on this like so and there you see an actual uh, box pop up with a load of um, well there isn't a load here there's only two because it's a virtual box but you would have a load of in Windows updates inside here okay where Windows has been updating regular so what you need to do is click on this tab here and this will put them into um, chronological order and then all you need to do is click on this and then click uninstall now once you uninstall it it will uninstall it from the system there is another feature here called turn windows features on and off and I've seen people going into here and taking the tick out of Windows Internet Explorer from there as well and there's also loads of other features inside here which you can enable and disable as in Telnet and stuff like that, okay? Okay, let's get back into the uh, Internet Explorer a bit. So what you want to do here is click on this and click uninstall and you want to say yes to that. It will now uninstall that from the system. And once that's been removed, you can restart the system. So what I'm going to do is quickly restart. just don't shut the system down while it's doing this configuring Windows updates just leave it well alone because if you start turning off the computer at this stage you will have problems okay so it's preparing to configure Windows okay it's configuring Windows updates just leave it to do its thing here you don't want to be touching it, it does take a bit a bit of time and now we have Internet Explorer removed from the system if we open up Windows Internet Explorer you can see what it's done is it's rolled back which is now Internet Explorer 8 so if you come up to help here about Internet Explorer it will tell you what version you've got. We have now got Windows, uh, sorry, Internet Explorer 8 on the system. So that has been uninstalled. Now you need to make sure that if you're taking it off completely going back, as you further back you go, 
you will need to make sure that you do have a browser on the system okay so what you need to do here now is if you want to install it again you just click on that download link that you had and it will install Internet Explorer 9 back on the system now this is sometimes when you've had malware on a system it can actually cripple the actual browser and make it unusable and this is normally a good way of uh, reinstalling the actual browser okay so let's restart and that's pretty much it And there we have it back up and running if I open up Internet Explorer now you will see that it's been updated with the latest version and you'll get a box popping up and now it's saying set up your Windows Internet Explorer 9 and then you can sort that out but as you can see go to the help button here about Internet Explorer and you will see version 9 has been installed okay so I hope this answers your question my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, please remember, guys, hit that subscribe button and show your support. And also rate and favourite for all my videos. And if you've got any requests like these two guys did, then send me a message and I'll do my best to make that video for you. Okay, so thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. Bye for now.